So let's go to this coach's poll. Uh, I guess Georgia was number one, huh? Georgia was number one. Any arguments with Georgia being number one? I don't have any arguments. They still have the most talent, and they have – I mean, even though I think Nico Imaliava is better, Georgia's scary because they have a loaded team talent-wise, and they have actually an elite quarterback, not a game manager. Hey, now. I can't put any other team but Georgia at number one. I mean, that just wouldn't make any any sense. All right, so number two. Let's go to number two because it is Ohio State. That's crazy. I know you're not on the Ohio State bandwagon. Neither am I. I neither am I. I think there's big time pressure in Columbus with Chip Kelly being the offensive coordinator. I think it's a win now type of situation. I think that pressure ends up busting pipes. And the only reason that I don't have this as Ryan Day on the super hot seat is because Jim Harbaugh is gone from Michigan. Otherwise, I'd be chalking up another Michigan win and Ryan Day on the very, very hot seat. Uh, as things stand now, I think that the Buckeyes end up struggling because of pressure. So I would not have them this high. This is the most overrated team in the coaches poll. <laughs> Far and away. Guys, so the, uh, the, the whole shebang on this, and this is, again, coaches being lazy. Ohio State added a transfer quarterback on Will Howard because the consistent thought process was last year they didn't have the right quarterback, right, with Kyle McCord. He just didn't fit the system. And everybody is thinking, oh, well, they got the right quarterback now, so they're going to be fine. Be fine. Yeah, they also allow, they, yeah, they, they also lost like half their offense to the NFL. They were loaded with first-round draft picks. Marvin Harrison Jr. is gone. I mean, so the weapons around the quarterback are nowhere near as good. So, yeah, they should be number two, and they're going to implode because of the Chip Kelly thing. I'm with you. All right, Oregon, number three. Hey, now. I'm good with Oregon at three. You? Yeah, I'm good with Oregon at three. I think they actually should be the Big Ten favorites this year. I got them winning the Big Ten. All right, Texas at number four. Overrated. I got overrated. I don't believe hey in now. Steve Sarkeesian. You're I with do. me on that? I do. And I didn't think I would, but I do now. I'm fine no, with I'm them not. being four. I think they're overrated. I think they have a very easy schedule. They coasted through the Big 12 last year, but I think they'll get hurt for having an easy schedule. So let's go to another SEC team. Alabama, number five. I'm going to say they're right. They're right where they should be. I agree because they still have some talent there from the Saban days, and DeBoer will surprise some people, and he's a good coach. I think you'll see them slide into being just a really good program instead of an elite epic program, but that's not going to happen in year number one. Number six is Ole Miss. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I I think that's high, if not low. I I, I can't. I'm going to say overrated. I can't believe that's all. Overrated? I I can't believe. I don't believe you can just string a bunch of talent together in a year without any chemistry. It's either one of those things where they could be number one or number 25, right? Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's like the first round draft pick that like they could be a Hall of Famer, but they could be a massive flame out too. No, um, I, I, and I don't know if how long that Ole Miss fans are comfortable with that. Um, is that something you would want to be a part of where you're up and down every year? It may not matter because we all think that eventually Lane Kiffin's going to be uh, coach in another school. Portions of the program brought to you by Quality Tire Pro. The Eberly family has been serving Chattanooga's community since 1957. All major brands of tires, full service automotive, brakes, alignments, oil changes, and more. All work covered by a nationwide warranty, Cherokee Boulevard, or online at qualitytirepros.com. Qualitytirepros.com. The remainder of the top 10 consists of Notre Dame, Michigan, Penn State, Florida State. I'm not going to ask you if those teams are overrated or not. I'll ask you this. Are they true playoff contenders? By the way, Notre Dame just lost, and it wouldn't factor into this, one of their top offensive linemen to pectoral tear. Um, That would seemingly hurt them. Michigan has a new coach. Penn State, I still don't like James Franklin. I know you don't like Florida State. And after you get past six, I have trouble seeing these guys being true contenders, maybe contenders to make the playoffs, but not win the playoffs. 
Yeah, it's hard for me to see any of these guys as contenders to win. Now, Michigan lost a ton of talent, but they do. And then there's the whole sign stealing thing and the scandal, which we're going to talk about again today for another reason. But they also do have a better court. They're apparently upgrading at quarterback, according to a lot of people. I just have a hard time seeing that because I think sometimes, look, I think sometimes, and you can call me crazy, Dave, but I think sometimes game managers at quarterback are very underrated. There's a reason the Ravens didn't go back to the Super Bowl after they got rid of Trent Dilfer. Say whatever you want about Trent Dilfer. But I think if they had him in 2002, had they not released him, they'd have gone back to the Super Bowl that year, too. And so he was better than Elvis Gerback. And so I just I I mean, that's that's kind of where I am on this. I'm 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 a little mixed. Um, Florida State. Here's the thing. Florida State's 10. Clemson's 14. I think they should flip. I actually think Clemson's better than Florida State this year. Funny enough. And I think that's going to show. I do think you could call me crazy, but Dave, I think only the ACC champion will get into the playoff. I don't think they're going to take a wild card from the ACC at all. No. And I think partially that's orchestrated to use as leverage to break them up. Probably. Now, if there here was, is- if there was a, an SEC team and an ACC team that you're choosing from, you're going to choose the SEC. They played nice. I agree. Now, going down the list of top 25, I'll give you – I told you Ohio State's my most overrated. Um, I want to get to my most over, underrated, but before, what's your most overrated team in the, top, in the entire top 25? Who's the Ohio most State. Uh, I, mean, I hate to agree with you, but it would, would be Ohio State. It's Ohio State. My most underrated, Tennessee notwithstanding, because I think they have a strong case to be underrated the most. But right there with them, Dave, I think Texas a and is the most underrated at 20. I think there's great value on Texas a and I think we're I think we're forgetting because of the Jimbo Fisher saga just how much talent is on that team right now. I wouldn't argue with that. Uh, but if you had to choose between Texas A&M and Tennessee, and I, I want to ask it in a very specific way because I want your thoughts on the entire season. Who ends up better than their preseason ranking by the greatest amount? In other words, Tennessee at 15, if they finish at five, that would be a plus five. Uh, Texas A&M at 20, it'd be if they finished at 17, that'd be a plus three. So who do you think finishes the highest based off their preseason prognostication? Well, what if I say Tennessee is going to finish number one and Texas A&M is going to finish number two? Texas A&M would make the larger leap at that point. (laughs) I, I, I. I've, I've given you guys my thoughts on Tennessee. I don't want to out and out say it, but I'm as high as you could possibly be on them. You take with it what you may when I say I'm as high as you could possibly be on them. But I actually think Texas A&M is going to make a larger jump than it's even possible for Tennessee to make because I think Texas A&M is going to finish in the top five. I think they'll be number four or three this year. Number my theory, Yes. My theory is you got an Ivy League coach who knows football, coaching talent. For the first time ever, like the SC, an SEC school, not an SEC school, a college football program thought like, let me go like nerdy smarts for my head coach. The, the, the coach of the Dolphins, Dave, you know what I'm talking about, right? That nerdy looking dude with the glasses. Mike, uh, Mike McDaniel. Yes. Look at how much ahead of the curve he is in everybody else coaching offense right now because like he's not just a, he's not a, just a guy who played ball who stumbled up the ladder. He's actually an analytical smart guy. No, and and I think you'll see that, but you still have to have the toughness aspect of it. It can't be all a video game, right? You have to have – if Josh Heupel – but he played. Um, let's take Lane Kiffin, for instance. Um, Lane Kiffin played football, but he wasn't a superstar by any stretch of the imagination and wasn't as good as Josh Heupel. But Lane Kiffin surrounded himself with, with tough guys, so he was able to take the intellectual approach – which I'll give Philip Fulmer credit. He was a little bit of both, wasn't he? He was. He was. Um, I think Mike Gelko's that. Look at Mike Gelko. He looks like a ball guy. He looks like a tough guy who played, who was tough when he played Ivy League football. I'll give you another example on this that worked out before things went way south at the end. And he was a horrible human being and a terrible person. And he can, you know, I, 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 I he had to meet his maker for what he did. However, there was no denying that Joe Paterno was smart, right? When he, in his prime, in his heyday, at his sure. peak, he was he was sure. a really smart coach. He also was a tough coach, right? Penn State yes. was one of the tougher programs yes. during that time. So Mike Elko, I think, is almost like a modern day Joe Paterno on his coaching style, not his um, character. 
Sure. Yeah. Well, I, I would assume you 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 would you would think that.